what is up guys welcome back to our playthrough of what remains of edith finch we left off by heading down this basement we completed some story we found a secret key from the music box right here and we opened it right here so we're going to continue with this we will finish this at 10 p.m and then from then on it will be fortnight for sure so i really enjoyed this game last time here we're finding about it was off Sven. Limits, unless i wanted another tetanus shot what another tetanus shot yikes dude i you saw can't... beauty sneak down to the basement once carrying packages you can't I thought maybe she was hiding presents you can't run in this game by the way at least i don't think you can Whoa. Turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. What the heck? I can't see a thing. I literally cannot see a thing. Okay. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Yo, what's up, your highness? How are you? Um, this is what remains of Edith Finch. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Okay, so basically what this game is about, we're exploring our family house and we are... Reese, do your job, please. <laughs> you feel betrayed? Why? Why? HD, didn't you see me complete the game? I literally completed Emily Wants to Play. Oh my god, I need to use. I need to sneeze. Oh. Oh, no, it's gone. So, this is our family tree. Right now, we're looking at Walter, who is here. Um, and yeah, we've just been exploring basically all, all of our family's history, pretty much. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. Excuse me. Wait, what? 30 years? See you later, Lindsay. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive the week. What the hell? But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. Ugh. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. Did he just eat peaches? But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. It's peach juice, but how can you live on that though? Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. So why was he down and then one there? Day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Okay, that's a good point. So let me sort this out. I'm very tempted to make Lucy a mod, you know. <laughs> I believe this is how you spell it. Well, I'm I'm just tempted to make maybe is there a way to make like VIPs or actually regulars? You know what? We don't even need mods to be honest. Like what we need are people that are able to change the game and title that aren't gonna troll. And maybe I should just make it moderators. Not straight from the can, surely you would cut Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Oh, you wish. That's what your friend told you. You need to be careful what you say in another language that your friend tells you, to be honest, because you never know what it means. Um, yeah, I'm going to change game and mod to be a regular thing. 
I think it's a default command. Yeah, here we go. Game, let's make it... Oh, wait. Wait, who can update the game then? I know, only moderators can modify it. Title allows moderators to modify it. I can't change that. Like, everyone can use it, but, you know. Okay, yeah. So any moderators can do it. It's fine. What's our title currently? Not if you're careful. Do you drink straight from the can? That's too crazy for me, honestly. Okay, that's the title. That's fine. Cool. I think that's everything. Sorry for that break. We'll get back into the game. Just thank you, Lucy, for making sure the game's up to date. Maybe you got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. Look at his skin. It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. Why were we down leave. here? Well, I still can. Why were we down here? Also, Nell Cup, thank you so much for joining the 24 Carat Club. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know it's out there somewhere. Be sure to drop a message in chat if you'd like to, or continue to lurk, please. I appreciate you. Whatever thank killed you. Barbara. This is depressing. Molly. And Calvin. This is so depressing, like the whole family has died. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Oh, okay, so Walter was a little boy and saw Barbara get killed. It scared him so much that he went into the basement and never came out. Damn. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. Also, guys, don't forget you can change my lights I if you're a subscriber. All of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Oh my god, dude. What the hell? He got hit by a train. I didn't even see that coming. Holy crap, dude. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. That's so messed up. What the hell? I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. That is so messed up, honestly. Hmm. See, Walter's story was just pretty much depressing, to be honest. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never wow. told me about an uncle under the house... Wow, the apex. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. So yeah, he got out for her. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Are these peach cans? I can't even tell, dude. Peanut butter? Oh my god. This is weird. Trying to bury something that's still alive. Can you guys turn my lights off? I forgot. Does that work? Now that there's only one of us left. Or maybe two. 
I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. I hope we don't die. So what happened to the train? I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. And the history you're a part of. This is sad, man. To be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Who is she talking to? I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. history of imagination and stubbornness and madness any of it seems possible what a tragic story for this massive family I think we've been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it what kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Oh my god, and here they all are. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Wow. Three of the gerbils were mine, and two had been my fault. Is this a pet cemetery? Oh my god, dude. That's not even like the humans. Yeah, the humans. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Can I focus? Hey B, how are you? So, B, why, when are you going to make a new account, please? Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. That's the old house? Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. The older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Could you so imagine? Many I wish I could ask my mom now. Could you imagine if Part this of me many this is what she wanted all along of your family to come died back someday and find everything out for myself?
but looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. What? We're pregnant? Oh no. Holy crap, dude. I thought we were going to fall and die. See you, blub. Take it easy. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. I mean, this looks intense. Got a bear Sam skin. spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. This is like the most anti-vegan room I've ever been in. Yuck! <laughs> ah, here we go. Let's see what was up with Sam. Where is Sam on the family tree? Okay, Sam was our grandfather. Dawn, I promise, you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Perfect. <laughs> I took a picture it's of the other stuff. It's the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. I hear you. Never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Where is she? You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. Still freezing, though. Oh, there she is. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Oh, hi, Mar. Hey. <laughs> That's a keeper. <laughs> Do I think I'm fire? Saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. Do I think You'll fire is too OP? If you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Fish. <laughs> Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. What do you want me to take a picture? Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. What does he want me to take a picture of? There were deer everywhere. Are we looking for deer or something like that? I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Is that not what you want me to spot? Give me a minute to check the map. Yeah, this game is gorgeous. It's also kind of depressing. I wish I had a camera this good. Let's see. <laughs> What's up, Lucy? You're trying to jump scare. You don't need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. Yeah, I do, Dad. I like you. The gun.
could have been. Where are you looking? I'm trying to look for a deer here, dude. I don't see any. What am I meant to take a picture of, guys? Because I honestly have no clue. I don't see anything in the trees either. You think keep going round? Oh, wow. Good eyes, Don. Good eyes. It only took you a century. Let me get a picture of Dad. Don't do it. Survive. You need to be strong. Don't do it. There's another way. Great shot, Don. <laughs> He's selfieing with his daughter crying in the background. Great shot, by I'm the proud way. Of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? <laughs> Okay, hold it right Sorry, there, Don, honey. Just gotta reset the timer. <laughs> Run, you can make it. Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally sick. normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad. <gasps> Holy crap, dude. stories that's the one i wish most that my mom had told me damn also can we clip that holy crap <laughs> the freaking oof <laughs> oh my god the girl was edith's mom God. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Thank you, Av. No, honestly, I don't mind you explaining stuff to me. After nah. Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They would both lost a lot. That makes sense, though, because um, that was our grandfather. Which games have I played already? Oh, Dave, you need to rejoin the queue, but I'm definitely playing Fortnite next. And then after that, there's a possibility we can play um, Persona 5. Gregory, Dawn, that Gus as well. Sam Finch, divorce, oh, divorce contract. Okay. Do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Oh. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Wow, you can control the fog. I turned over Gregory, it's time to Hold on, sweetie. Oh god, what? I don't wanna know. I don't wanna I told you I don't wanna talk right now. I wonder what he's saying.
reminded me so much of Captain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love this music. Lost in his imagination. Whatever it was he saw. Save the whale. Oh no. Oh my god. There's so much I don't understand. About Gregory. About everything. There's only one less than that. Yeah, it's a bad time, Lucy. That's too emotional for any sound effects, to be honest. I think I muted them. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Wow. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Wow, during, during the wedding.
the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign held up his middle finger. Oof. Yeah, the text is so cool in this game. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Gotta love these kite physics. The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent or death of food we made. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power, but all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. What the hell? I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. So, did he drown? She never talked about him, but... Mom told me once, if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. I'm so confused. That one, I, how did he kill himself? The tent hit him. Crap. Why did- why does everyone die so tragically in this family? I mean, why do they die first My and foremost? My mom the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. It's like Final Destination, but only for this family. Now we find out how our mom dies? No? She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh, crap. Oh, damn. So is Dawn our mother? Yeah, Dawn is our mother, and there's Sanjay. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. What the heck is that? I almost said, is that a bong? <laughs> There's something wrong with me. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. But it didn't last. Yo, what's up, Duke? The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Right, so Milton is still alive. This reminds me of um the unfinished swan. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the Wait, family. Wait, this is This is the unfinished swan. What the hell?
Oh my god, he was the king? What? Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. No, this isn't scary, Duke. This isn't scary. these are the same people that made the game that's crazy yeah it's the same developer I didn't even realize it's the same people that made the unfinished one that's so cool okay now I was about to say how do we get out <laughs> Again. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. So he just disappeared. I mean, we could probably find him, to be honest. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. He was an artist. The unfinished one is a spin-off to this game. Think about it. Honestly, it's been so long since I played that game, so I can't remember the exact story of the unfinished one. But still, that's still kind of mind-blowing to me. Let's try going up. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Nearly Holy sober, crap, dude. I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, whoa, okay. He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... To what? Wonder. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. This is very cool because I'm still controlling my mouse to do the fish. I'm walking around with WASD. Then something moved. Bats and toads. A 
and things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. Oh, he's gonna cut his hand, isn't I he? I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. Look at this moonscape clone. <laughs> he told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. This is so cool. And songs for them to play. It really makes it your mind wander. Then. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Lewis Topia. Oh my god, we're actually going to Conquer other parts. City, then immediately push on. <laughs> New Lewisville. <laughs> I wish I had this guy's imagination. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. Mean. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Minneapolis. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing off. Wow, that's sad. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a Beautiful Prince. Beautiful Prince. We're doing that Kappa Pride route. <laughs> the Prince was on his own quest for... Sinister Serpents? Uh, I'll take Radiant Rainbows, please. Radiant Rainbows. Keep it even more Kappa Pride. <laughs> he followed the sound of his electric sitter. I want a harp, dude. 
silver harp. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. This is like Game of Thrones right now. Even then, his logic remained sound. We don't even have the, the world, world in view is anymore. His imagination. What the heck, dude? This is so cool. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. He began to forget the world we know. This is my palace. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Hello, my loyal subjects. I am king. You may bow to me. The great Lewis of wherever we are. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. What the hell? Did he kill himself? Okay, this is creepy, dude. He actually just went insane. You think it's in Washington? What, here? Can we talk to ourselves? I mean, we can't go anywhere else. We're definitely meant to go here, but I don't know what we're meant to do. Oh, I guess we just go up there. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. I know, trash boy. Including the wise Calico who'd insisted on advising him.
best I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. How long for the last part? I think we just have one more, don't we? We might as well just finish this game. If there's only he one more. He was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. Okay. I mean, it's still kind of early. Well, Defo switch over next after this. Ooh, PlayStation. Louis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. That's even more depressing. <laughs> Dying a lot in game as well. On the way back from Louis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. Yeah, Kifo, this game is amazing, honestly. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. So are we even Edith right now? Of course we are. Surely. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. The power had been shut off that morning, but... Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. 
There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh dear. I got turned around. Dude. I started seeing things. I was gonna say you can't see a thing. I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. So who is this right now? Just to confirm. Are we playing as like the... We're playing as Edie, right? Edie. I confuse Edie and Edith. Edie is different to Edith. Okay, this is how Edie died. Or maybe I came back to them. Yeah, Edith was named after Edie. That's why I got Things confused. I can't explain. But that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Uh, did. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. I love how they give you control over things. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. Appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Oh, God. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way.
This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. This is cute. Is this cute or sad? These people haven't died, have they? No, these were just the creators. No way. All these people died. I think all these people are okay. These are just like baby photos of the people who made the game. That was a fantastic game though. Beautiful story. Yeah, these are just credits of the game. Thanks, Caitlin. Oh. That's a heavy, heavy game. Great game, though. Hey, Emily. I'm okay. That was just a, a crazy, intense game. It's an incredible game as well, though. I really, I loved, in particular, I think it was Lewis's story, the one who was doing the, the fish cutting. That was crazy, crazy good. Yeah, for sure. It's a really, really good game. I mean, honestly, I think the one that shocked me the most, the train was pretty bad, but the one that shocked me the most was actually the the one with the deer. I just didn't even see that coming. Yeah, Sam. That was like, whoa. And could you imagine how sad How sad the mother must have been, Dawn. The replay a story option is now available. 
Okay. Yeah, like... I mean, Dawn must have been so sad when that happened. One, she killed the deer, but then her dad just died as well. That was madness. Anywho, if you guys were just watching for What Remains of Edith Finch, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Really, really beautiful game. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in whatever we decide to play next. And for now, we're going to move on to our next game. Till then, this is Gold Carrot signing out. Peace.